So everyone was cool until suddenly Nintendo announces a direct. direct. And it's like now. And, and I was predicting the direct was coming soon. And I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm down for this direct. And then the news came and I'm like, oh, oh, I'm hit with a wave of emotions I didn't expect. And it's the inevitable result of having the most anticipated game of 2023 looming in the distance with like barely a hundred seconds of footage to understand what's going on. Like myself, you might have experienced that little swell of emotion, the excitement, the joy, the elation, the nervousness, maybe even a little fear. I'm here to tell you that that's more than perfectly fine. In fact, that means something truly special. You're human and it's cool and you're excited. I wasn't going to do a video. I had another one planned entirely and I was working on it when the Nintendo Direct was announced. And I decided to do this one because this is how I'm working through the hours to the showcase. And I hope it helps someone else out there because I don't know, it's kind of curious. I like to look at how we react in moments. So I hope you guys enjoy it. If you don't, hit the thumbs down, dislike it, all good. The legend. So why is this direct a big deal? Well, because we have an exceedingly high chance of seeing more about the game that won most anticipated game for 2023 at the Game Awards in December. And up until now, I would say we are full blown Jon Snow levels of knowledge about this game. We know nothing. Why should I care? Um, why are you watching this video if you don't care? I'm just saying awareness is the first step to help. But um, seriously, Zelda games spanned 35 years, multiple generations of defining titles, game developments, mechanics that have just shaped the face of gaming, technology, storytelling. It's an art form now. Um, I don't know what else to tell you. Ocarina of Time still holds number one on Metacritic as the highest rated game of all time and has held it for 25 years. That's got to mean something. It's got to mean something. You, people can go, no, Zelda games aren't that great. No, no, they're awesome. Do I need to know the lore and backstory? No, I love the Zelda lore. It's amazing. It's nuanced and varied and can be interpreted in so many different ways. It's fantastic. But it's all about having your own adventure and your adventure is up to you. So you don't need to know everything. You're all good. Why are people freaking out? Because when people love something so much, they get weird about it. <laughs> Um, there's no way one game can carry the weight of expectations of a fan base that is this storied, enduring, and just amazingly, spectacularly different. But generally, I think Nintendo do a really good job of catering to our wide variety of needs. More often than not, they actually raise the bar. So I think that also creates a bit of nervous excitement to see what they're going to pull off. You know, moments like that Twilight Princess reveal. You know, iconic. What do you mean when you say it slaps? Oh, I mean the game slaps, it's gonna slap your face off. It will blow your mind, it will challenge everything you think you know, raise a new bar in gaming, define what is fun for the inner child in you and hopefully awaken that sense of fun. It, Breath of the Wild did that for me, so I'm confidently gonna say this next game might do it for somebody else. And if not, I'm so super sorry to get your hopes up. It generally comes true. Most Zelda games for me blow my expectations out of the water. So, you know, that's why I'm putting that out there. And that's why I'm confident, by the way, because my expectations are never really anything other than just trying to have fun with whatever that game is. I know there's going to be some weird mechanic that I'm not used to or story trope or something. They always do something crazy with it. But, you know, they always just deliver a unique gaming experience. And I'm down for that. And hopefully you're down for that too. You have the power to if you want to. So what's the approach for today? Well, put simple, balance is the key. You know, Triforce is the perfect metaphor for the moment. So let's start off with wisdom. And if you're being wise, as they say, you should prepare. So think of it a bit like a survival kit. Let's go through a couple of simple things. Set an alarm if you don't want to miss the event live. It's super early in the morning where I am, so I want to make sure I'm awake. Uh, if at all possible, you know, can you have the time to watch it? Some people will be working or have commitments. You know, is there something you can do to make sure you can be there for that moment? I'm not sure, but also if you can't, a way to avoid spoilers. Bring food and drinks. You know, if you're catching up with friends or sitting around on the couch, nourishment is critical to surviving, particularly with a harsh terrain of 40 minutes of games that are probably going to be shoved in front of the one that you're waiting to see. Nothing against those games, but I'm there for Zelda. Uh, visit the toilet. You don't want to have that hit you at the wrong time, and I hope that helps one person, and if it does, you are most welcome. Charge your phone beforehand, and for no particular reason other than any time any event like this has ever happened in my life and I've been around other people, someone's phone's out of charge. 
Am I the only one that has that? Anyway, uh, if you are sharing socially a bevy or two, maybe a few drinks, plan ahead. Make sure you're traveling safe and you're keeping yourself safe and, you know, out of harm's way and not doing anything silly, no drink driving, any of that stuff. Keep it safe, adventurers. Bring tissues. You may cry. You may not. You may spill food. Tissues are amazing for that. You also might be a hero that can help somebody else who's crying with a tissue at the right time. Who knows? Could spark a romance. Commemorate the moment with something special. Take a photo, record the trailer, sign something. I don't know. Do something special. It's, it's once every six years. Do something cool. <laughs> Make something different for it. Why not? You deserve it. And uh, I like this idea, by the way, of having something fun to keep your nervous energy in check. A uh, friend of the channel, OGO, he's got a bingo card going. And I thought that was a pretty sick idea. Um, there's other people who have got these random things. Tiny, who's an awesome person who's helped with the stream today, uh, is really excited about having maybe just a unique score for this epic trailer that's just for this one thing alone. And that was like a beautiful snowflake moment. I thought that was really cool. I'm listing out weird things like what shirt will IG and Uma wear? Will it be the, the lobster one? Will he have a new haircut? These are the things I'm thinking of and I don't know why, but they're like side quests and I'm on board for that. So revel in it. And lastly, and I hate to be that guy, but you know, don't forget if you've got work or school or commitments, you know, it's going to be a great moment, but um, reality will kick back in. So maybe just set another alarm for that just so you don't forget. That's all. Next up, we've got power. And I'm going to go out on a limit in saying that the trailer will hit the heights of the Gen 2017 trailer, if not exceed it. In which case, it's going to hit like a freight train. I expect powerful feelings, emotions, and of course, opinions. So expect reactions that you don't expect to make. You could be fist pumping, squeals of delight, gasping, screaming, crying. All these things may creep up on you unexpectedly. Even the most rational person can express emotion unintentionally because they get excited. And if Nintendo managed to blow us away in the way that I think they can, location is a huge factor. You do not maybe want to be in the middle of a public library for this one. That's all I'm saying. It's rare for me to say this. I'm not the most social creature by nature. But this is kind of one, if you can, enjoy it with others. Be it friends, family, strangers on a bus. Doesn't matter. Uh, a communal moment, a smile. Uh, take that moment uh, as something that you can enjoy with other people. And if I'm wrong, by the way, and the trailer does suck or it doesn't happen or whatever it might be, again, having other people there to share the angst with is something that just can't be understated. Finally, I'd also add that post-trailer prep is key. Uh, situation here is your mind is blown, your jaw is unhinged, and all your dreams have come true. They've either been exceeded or maybe actually they've been shot out of the water. Who knows? Irregardless, the dust settles and it begs the next question. Where do I direct my emotions to? Plan ahead, people. You know, what is your poison after that? For a lot of people these days, I'm hearing reaction videos are the way to go. Uh, there are some masters out there. People have been doing Zelda stuff for a while. HMK, I'm checking that out. You've got the master himself, Zeltic. Cool, calm, collective, passionate. He's got it all. He's the package and worth watch. You've got Monster Maze. He's just insightful as always. You've got Bandit, NBC, Conrad, the man at Commonwealth, who's just always flying the flag. Hyrule Gamer. These are some people who have been around for a long time. They're passionate. Uh, they react honestly. A guaranteed good watch. But even then, beyond that, there's so many people out in the community now. Um, so for reaction stuff, you've got, got you covered there. But beyond that, you're going to have all these critiques, theories, analysis, speculations, adulations, condemnations. There will be memes. There will be all sorts of crazy stuff that you can't expect, but it will be there. And it's okay to pace yourself, you know. Zelda has been off trend for a while, but it's on trend at the moment. And with the selection of materials from creators and social media platforms at the moment, it'll be a bit of a feast for a while. So yeah, enjoy it. And finally, we've got courage. So take this bit with a pinch of salt, less of a recommendation, more of a suggestion. If you feel excited, genuinely are having fun, savor the moment, you've earned it. We've had a tough time last few years. As astute gamers and adventurers, it's only natural something can there will spark the fear. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it might be a new gimmick of control, it's a companion character thing, it's an item, it's a story thing. It's one of the million things that will trigger something dark in maybe you or somebody close to you to start going down that whole wormhole of it's going to be really bad. And I can assure you that that may be the case, possibly, but until we get our hands on the game and get to play it, nothing's concrete. 
And even if you don't vibe with it when you do get the game, maybe you have the courage to try and push past it and see what comes from it. If your idea of what might happen looks to get shut down, you know, you've got a prize theory, it's usurped in a moment, or maybe the direction of the game is not heading where you want, heck, the series as a whole, take heart and knowing that that's okay. Um, you be amongst the many of us who have thought we knew what was going on at a particular time, and it takes a sharp U-turn, goes in a complete opposite direction. You know, theories, for example, are, are us putting our best guesstimations based off supporting evidence about what we think is going to happen. It doesn't mean it's what's going to happen, and we're not devastated if it doesn't, and nor should you. Just, um, yeah, life goes on. So don't worry about it. Enjoy the ride, and who knows, maybe it'll be a sharp U-turn back onto your train later on. Um, consider playing another Zelda game in the meantime. It's a recommendation for just a good way to approach enjoying the series that you love in a different way, challenging yourself to play it differently. A friend of mine at the moment is hitting up Zelda 2, and it's rock hard, but hearing about how they're having that experience is awesome. Um, me, I'm trying to do moves in Breath of the Wild that I suck at, like parrying, and it's causing me to die a lot in hilarious fashion, which is actually making me appreciate the game more for the humor that it's giving me. So... That's a different spin. I say getting out of your comfort zone is a bit like a whole letter. Finally, um, something that is, again, just a suggestion if you haven't. Embrace the community. Get out there. Check out what people are doing. There are some of the most artistic and genius creative people in the world doing Zelda stuff. There are people making music that is insane. You know, um, Tim DeMann, someone who's out there teaching people how to play piano all the time. Zelda stuff. Um, there's people building Hyrule in Minecraft. I kid you not. There's a guy who's got this awesome video and it's proven Ravali wrong about taking him on in the air through a, just a series of uh, glitches and mechanical exploits, including the best crescendo of explosions. It borders on genius creativity I couldn't even approach. There is stuff like this out there and these people are making great content. Go and check it out. Enjoy it. And particularly if you can, take the time to check out the people who maybe are new or they don't have a lot of people checking out this stuff. Give it a shot and maybe show them a bit of love because it'll probably mean the world to them. So I guess what I'm saying is, is be that hero you know you are and make someone's day. And I bet if you do, you will also feel pretty good yourself. Again, suggestion, feel free to take it or leave it. Some straight up facts though that you do need to know. And let's be real here for a sec. Everything that happens from here on in is a theory that... I can say, speaking on behalf of every theorist that has ever covered any Zelda thing, we were going to do that theory, we just didn't write it down yet or cover it. But we were, I, I promise you. And every theory that we did cover that was wrong, that was bound to happen, because Nintendo changed it. The same. Uh, my favourite Zelda game is not better than yours, because your favourite Zelda game is also awesome. And it's actually possible for everybody's favourite Zelda game to be as equally awesome as each other's. Mind blown, multiverse right there. I don't think there is actually a right timeline theory ever. And I know that's probably going to be a little controversial, but it doesn't matter which choice it is, somebody's upset because it's wrong. So maybe we just need to let it go. Ganondorf is 100% the most loved villain in the series statistically. So as much as we talk about maybe this will be the end of Ganondorf, will it? Can you get rid of the most popular villain ever? I don't know. Um, last two facts. T-O-T-K. Tears of the Kingdom will win Game of the Year 2023. And Tears of the Kingdom slaps. You just don't know it yet. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the direct and have a great time. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya.